and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are doing drugstore, baby. I never do drugstore on my channel. I feel like a lot of people have wanted me to do it. I've taken my time, but today's the day. And today is super exciting because I'm reviewing and doing a tutorial on the entire Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection. This bad boy came to me earlier this week and I was completely in shock. Let's just talk about how high school me was all about Wet n Wild and I think it is wild okay that was seriously so lame but it was so cool that i am now a part of their pr list so just so you guys know this was sent to me but i am not paid for this video and all opinions are of my own i am trying this entire collection on camera for the first time i have literally not tried a single product before this video so i'm really excited i'm doing a tutorial on this makeup look right here for you guys so if you want to see how I achieve this makeup look and just keep watching because we're gonna get started. I absolutely love that this collection has a lot of skincare versus it having just like a bunch of makeup because I feel like I love when brands consider your skincare routine into like your makeup routine. So I'm gonna start with their Photo Focus Rose Toner. So this I'm just it has a little pump spray. I think I can just spray it all over my face. I did just wash my face. There is no cleanser or anything that comes with this collection, at least not what I was sent. So yeah, everything obviously is gonna have like a rosy smell to it. So I'm gonna let that kind of like dry on my face. It is really refreshing. It's like, it feels very springy. So I love the idea that they launched it just recently for spring. So it also came with a lip scrub, so I'm gonna do that. I love doing lip care before a makeup routine because usually my lips are pretty dry and it's just really nice to prep your lips for when you do your makeup later on. And this scrub, honestly, I don't know if you guys remember it, but like Victoria's Secret had a sugar scrub, a lip scrub. And this literally reminds me exactly it like it feels the same it's the same color this one doesn't really have a rose scent to me at all it doesn't really have any type of scent but yeah like honestly it's so refreshing having a makeup line or like a collection that's launched that focuses on skin prep and skincare. I feel like you don't see that too often. All right, my lips are nice and exfoliated. It does come with a lip balm, but it's tinted. So I'm gonna skip that step, but that's a really great step to do if you were just doing the skincare and you wanted your, I don't know, your lips to look nice. But I'm gonna skip that step because it is a little bit tinted and I'm not going for that look for what I was thinking of doing in this video. So they do have a multi-use oil. And this is really great if you wanted to use it before bed. I wouldn't use this before a makeup look just because I do have oily skin. So this is something that I'm gonna skip, but this is a really nice thing to add into your nighttime routine to add that extra layer of hydration and then you can let the oil sink in your skin all night. But I'm not going to do this before my makeup, so I will skip this step, but I did want to let you guys know. And it's really cool because there's like, little bits of rose at the bottom so they do have a priming serum so that i may actually put on before doing my makeup i'm not gonna do a whole lot i'm gonna use this as my primer it's really pretty it's like a nice like pinky tone i'm just gonna kind of add that all over my face and i'm just gonna kind of like pat that in it feels really nice it obviously, it smells like roses. If you have issues with scented things, this may not be the collection for you. If not, you don't mind it. You may actually really like the way everything smells. So yeah, that soaked up really nice into my skin. So off camera, because this collection doesn't have any type of foundation, I'm going to do my foundation and then we will come back. Um, I think I'm also gonna do my brows off camera because this doesn't have any brow products in this. So. Once we come back, I can get to doing my eye makeup. All right, so I'm starting with the Secret Garden Rendezvous palette, and I'm gonna use the shade here. I don't think it has a name, so it's just this really pretty, like, rosy pink color. I'm taking a fluffy blending brush, and I'm gonna start in my crease. I 
feel like that shade is super pretty. I'm just gonna kind of like pack it on nicely. So now going into the House of Thorns palette, I'm gonna take this red shade right here. Again, I don't see any names, so just note that it's this shade. And also I'm taking a more a flatter blending brush like so, and I'm gonna focus that a little tighter to the crease and the outer corner. Wow, I love, these shades to me are so beautiful. Like I wish they came out with like just one big palette instead of a bunch of quads because they're all so beautiful and can be used together. That's what I really like about them. I'm actually like very pleasantly surprised with how much these are working for me. And I, you guys probably know, I love red tones. So like this is just right up my alley, this whole collection. So I feel like like nice padding motions are what helps build up that color. They have pretty good pigment and they're pretty buildable. And I didn't put any primer down, but since I usually do foundation over my eyelid, that's basically what I use. So just so you guys know. So I feel like even with primer, they would be a lot even better but they're working really well without any. And this collection didn't come with any, so that's why I didn't use any. Because I really wanted to show how they work out on their own. So now we're moving on to the eyeshadow quad that honestly is my absolute favorite just by looking at the packaging or the colors that they chose for this one. This one is called Bed of Roses. So this is what the quad looks like. It's so beautiful. I'm really excited to use this shade, but for now I'm actually gonna go to this dark burgundy shade here just to add a little bit of darkness on the outer corner but this is the one that really inspired me to create some kind of dramatic eye i just love the tones in this quad all together they're so beautiful so i'm just going to darken that outer corner a little bit more I want to do a small cut crease for this look because I really want those shimmers to pop and so I'm going to just take a concealer brush. I'm not going to make it super crazy. Okay, so now I'm going into that really beautiful rose gold shade here, and I'm just going to take a flat eyeshadow brush and just pack that on everywhere where the concealer is. I'm gonna stop about there and go into that very first shade that we used on our eye Which was in the secret garden rendezvous Palette and it's this shade. I'm going to just kind of help blend together the shimmer with the dark And I'm just gonna take a nice blending brush to do so just sort of like pat that on lightly Then going back to the bed of roses, I'm gonna take that dark burgundy shade there and pat some on the outer corner just to help darken it a little bit and help everything sort of blend nicely together. Now I'm gonna use that same burgundy shade we just used and a flat definer brush and I'm gonna to stick tight to my lower lash line and waterline and I'm just going to kind of start diffusing out or I guess smoking out the lower lash line just to help blend it all together. Now I want to add a little bit of highlight to my brow bone so I'm going into the Secret Garden Rendezvous palette and I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm just going to lightly highlight just under that arch of my brow. So this collection doesn't come with any sort of mascara or eyeliner or anything so I'm just going to take a liquid pen liner to just lightly 
line my lash line to help darken it a bit. All right, so also because I didn't come with any mascara or lashes or anything, I'm gonna do my mascara and lashes off screen like I usually do. So I'm going to be using the Ardell Demi Wispies. I just love those lashes for most of my makeup looks, especially when it's, I mean, this is kind of dramatic, but it's not as dramatic as it could be. So I'm just going to go ahead and use those. And when those are on, I will come back. All right, so I'm gonna move on to doing the blush because this did come with one blush, which is a cream blush. And I'm gonna tell you when I first opened it it was it was terrifying because I was like this is black <laughs> like, did I get something did something happen to this and no so it's actually a cream blush so when you put your finger in it it actually comes off kind of pinky so it's just something that night you can just like nicely blot onto your cheek to add like a little bit of pink to it it's not gonna be like super in your face i feel like it's meant to look like super natural and just kind of like you're blushing a little bit so <laughs> yeah i'll tell you i was so scared when i saw this i was like this this is black is this supposed to be like a dead rose like <laughs> what happened to this but it's actually really pretty i mean i feel like i'm not usually one to wear cream blushes but honestly this is really nice on the cheek it just looks super natural almost um and just sort of like your cheeks have been pinched so i'm layering this on top of my foundation and i'm really liking just how natural it just it's coming out it's really pretty it's nothing too heavy i feel like they could have done something so different and like way too heavy and too almost too much of a red or dark blush and they did a really great job with making something that if you didn't want to use like do the crazy heavy makeup you could just do a nice refreshed looking skin pop some of this red or this blush on your cheeks and then you would be good to go it just kind of adds like a little bit of life and a little bit of color to your face so lastly this collection comes with i think four new lip shades and they're called the mega last liquid cat suit this is a high shine lipstick. Oh, I thought this was going to be um, like a matte color, but that's cool. So I'm picking the shade Petal Poison. It's just this really pretty pinky shade. They do have like some dark reds and a dark purple and then like a more of a pastel purple, but this is a nice like pink tone. I don't know how often I would use those other shades. I'm not one to do a super dark bold lip um, unless it's fall. I'm just... I'm kind of a chicken so I like to stay with my pink shades a lot and um, here and there I'll do like a bright orangey red so that's why I chose this one right here so let's see how this works I seriously thought this was gonna be a liquid lipstick but I'm pleasantly surprised that it's not because I'm more likely to wear something that isn't a liquid lipstick so I also thought this shade would go really nice with the lip with the eye colors um, one thing to note though, applicator feels a little flimsy, I'm not gonna lie. I do like that color though so far, that's pretty. Yeah, I must say that I'm glad that this is more of a shiny lipstick than it is a liquid lipstick because it's a lot more wearable and comfortable. This shade is so pretty with this eye look though like i'm really liking that yeah i think this is pretty a wearable shade at least for my skin tone i like this i could see myself actually reaching for this like on a day-to-day -day basis i really like that color so knowing that the other shades are more of a a, sh a high shine lipstick maybe i'll go towards them the other shade is like this purpley color and then there's this really dark purple and a darker red so knowing that at least like this darker red is more of a shiny one I might give it a go someday and I might give this a go but dark purple it just it freaks me out a little bit so that's it for this little review and tutorial it really wasn't much of a review but here are my final thoughts after using this um I will say I was really skeptical going into using the eyeshadow palettes I don't typically have great luck with drugstore eyeshadow palettes I don't know what it is but they just don't work for me and I'm 
maybe I'm spoiled, but like I'm so used to using like a little bit more expensive ones. So I don't know the formulas, but these formulas, I am not kidding you guys, were so incredible. They were so easy to blend and so pigmented. I could not believe it. I wish they just created one big palette with all three of the quads because they all work really well together. Like I highly recommend getting all three of them together just because of how many color combinations you could come up with with all three of them i think that makes for 12 shades if you got all three i mean seriously like i really love them i love pinky burgundy shades i love champagne pinks i love champagnes all of that i just i really like it so i was very pleasantly surprised and i'm excited to try more of the skincare obviously i only tried the toner and the face serum before I started, but I'm interested in trying the oil because I do try to do a face oil before I go to bed. So I'd like to see how that works for my skin. I love, love, love that this collection is so heavily focused on your skin prep routine. I think a lot of people forget that they need to prep their skin before they do makeup, otherwise the makeup doesn't sit well. And I love that Wet n Wild has decided that that was really important for this collection and it's just something I haven't seen before and I really, really like it. The lip colors, I don't know how long they're going to last. I find that um, more cost-effective lip colors don't typically stay on the lips for too long, so we'll have to see how those go. But I'm pretty happy with the fact that they're more of a gloss and not a matte because they look like a matte lipstick just from far away. So make sure that you guys know that now and you might be more interested. I don't know if you're like me. I just liquid lipsticks don't work for me, so it's just not my thing. So I'm glad that these aren't. Like I'm honestly pretty overall pleasantly surprised with this collection so far nothing in it i was turned off about i mean i even thought that the cream blush was going to be something that just wasn't for me but i am genuinely pleasantly surprised it just adds the nicest little pinch of color to your cheeks so i can tell that's what they were trying to go for and that's what they did they hit the nail on the head with it and i can see myself using this if even when i want to wear a little bit of makeup instead of a full glam look like this. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more drugstore makeup videos, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. It would make me so happy. Thank you guys again so much for watching and I'll see you next time.